So one of the key arguments that Republicans have been making for this bill is that when you cut corporate taxes, you get big benefits to workers, not just through economic growth, but because they contend that a substantial fraction of the corporate taxes is, is actually paid by workers, in effect, because companies that prefer to locate in places with lower corporate tax rates, they'll, will, they'll be willing to pay higher wages when, they, when they're operating in a place that has a lower corporate tax rate. And even that tax policy center analysis that, that we were discussing, yeah. uh, a somewhat left of center organization, they assume that about 20% of the corporate tax is ultimately borne by wages. Is, is, is this right? Is there a significant benefit to workers from a reduction of the corporate tax? Probably some, a little bit. I mean, it, and it matters a lot what horizon we're talking about. In the short run, nothing. All of this effect only works through capital coming in and building up and increasing the demand for labor. So mm -hmm. that takes time. So if you ask what happens in the first year from a corporate tax cut, none of it goes to workers. Over the course of 10 years, maybe a, a larger portion. But there are, there are limits on how far this goes. So yeah, there's something there. You know, realistically, we have to imagine there'll be some effect. But you know, uh, it's, will it be visible? Will, will workers see their wages increase in a way that anyone will notice over the next five years? No. <laughs>